Greetings, YouTube. First up, my wife got me a new flashlight because she loves me. It does the standard flashlight, which is kind of lantern-like. It doesn't really focus one direction, not a lot of throw on this thing. But then you go like this, and it does SOS, which is slightly disconcerting because there's a slight delay between the camera and the flashlight blinking. That's, that's really weird. <laughs> But I thought it was cool, and uh, she was able to pick it up cheap. As I've mentioned before, about two years ago, I began to essentially stop watching television. And since I've moved into this home in October, I haven't watched television at all. The only thing I use my TV for is to um, listen to my listen to music on my Roku, uh, using it to uh, fuddle internet through my television, um, or watching DVDs. That's it. Other than that, I have no exposure television here. I have some very small amount of it at work, and I wear headphones with a built-in uh, ear muffs, like, you know, sound dampening headphones with a built-in radio on break, so I don't have to listen to it, because they show HLN News, headline news, which isn't news at all, it's just talking heads. And it's got Nancy Grace, that harpy, which is insulting to harpies the world over. Um, Occasionally, if I go to my mother's, because my mother watches television whenever she's awake, the TV is on, blaring, it keeps her company. I don't need a blaring TV to keep me company. Um, and I've noticed since October that American pop culture is becoming increasingly alien to me. It's really starting to be strange. For the most part, I only see ads here online, mostly on YouTube. And yesterday I saw one that was for Dance Moms, which I'm assuming from the little flash I saw of it, I didn't look at the trailer at all, um, it has something to do along the same lines as the Toddlers in Tierra, you know, hyperactive type A mothers making sure their children are the best there is in the world at dancing. That would, that's what the horrible concept I'm imagining in my head. I bet I'm actually falling short of the mark. Um, and I'm just like, why does this exist? Why do we want to delight in the misery of some child at the hands of some overcompensating person that is trying to live vicariously through their kid? Why? Why would you do that? I don't understand any of the reality TV show. Well, of course, well, it's not reality in the least. There's all scripted. And the big advantage of reality television is the people that play the characters on the screen are playing themselves, so they don't get have to get paid like real actors do. So that's why television networks love reality television. It costs next to nothing to make, and it makes them huge amounts of money. Um, and it's just horrible. It's, it's like all the worst aspect of humanity right there in front of you. It's... It's heartbreaking. Um, and it's just becoming more and more strange to me. It's like I'm really starting to look at these things as though they are an alien culture. As strange to me as if you were to dump me into, you know, rural China or the backwoods of, uh, of an African nation or somewhere. I wouldn't know how to function well, and I'm beginning to realize that I really don't understand a lot of the ways my fellow Americans think when it comes to pop culture. And it's it's baffling me. So, I am asking my subscribers today, have you ever had this feeling that you're not in sync with the pop culture of the world around you? Um, that maybe the pop culture has moved into a direction that you're not comfortable with? And can someone explain to me why reality television is so popular because I just don't get it. It, it just baffles me.